Okay, what up team? We are back with a brand new video. Today we are training Alora for the Z Image Turbo model that just came out last week. Everybody thought we couldn't do it, but uh, the god Ostris uh, came through with the image adapter and it works. As you can see, these are the kind of results we can expect. So this is the face we trained on. This is the results we are getting. So the lightness is pretty good as we can see. Um, I'll go over the installation, should not be too complicated. And then we'll start uh, a training for this exact lower. Obviously it's already trained, but I'll go over the settings and everything. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is have an empty folder with enough storage to, um, you know, basically download the dependencies and the models and everything. So just have an empty folder here and then you need Git. If you don't have Git, you can get it. Uh, just Google Git and install it. Uh, from there, we need to open up a new terminal from this folder. So you can write CMD in here if you don't have a warp like I do, or I'll just do this to open up here. Then we need to do a Git clone uh, to the link of the repo for AI toolkit. So we just do git clone and the link. This is basically going to copy uh, the repo to our computer. Then we go inside the folder here, uh, just do that. Then we need to do a, a, a creation for uh, the virtual environment. So this is the command right here. I'm just gonna create a new folder that's called VNV and this folder is going to contain all the dependencies for uh, AI toolkit. Then we need to activate that virtual environment. So we did this command and then we need to install the first torch. So we need to install PIP, install torch. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for this to be done here. Okay, we have Torch installed and then we can install the requirements. So this is the usual PIP install R requirements. We just launch that. Okay, so we have everything installed. It took about uh, three, three to four minutes. Uh, we can just go now to uh, the UI folder. So this folder right here, uh, we just do a CD UI, boom. We're now in the UI folder and then we need to do npm um, run build and start. This is going to basically build uh, the app uh, and the front end for AI toolkit. So we just wait for that to be done and uh, then we'll be able to just run AI toolkit. Okay, so when uh, it's done, you'll see a link here. You can just open up that link with control click. Boom, so here from here, we need to add a data set. First of all, first thing, a uh, new data set, RL. I'll just use that. It's not the real data set, but this is how you do it. So you just take your data set um, and you drag and drop it directly inside uh, the AI toolkit interface. And you drag and drop it right here. Okay, so this is gonna be the data set. Um, it's not really captioned or anything. It's not the real data set, so it's only an example. Um, once this is done, we can go to a uh, new job. Uh, we named the Laura, so that's gonna be uh, Emily uh, Tests. Trigger word, uh, we don't need one. We already have one. It's the only word in our captions. If you wanna add one, you can add it here. Uh, for the model, we need to select the image turbo with the training adapter. Uh, if you have a low amount of VRAM, you can try to check that. And if you want to offload uh, some parts of the model on your uh, CPU, on your RAM, you can do that here. And by the way, you can train pretty much any model that's released is going to be available in the AI toolkit. So uh, I don't use those, so I'll just turn it off. Uh, the quantization, you can leave it as is, uh, should be enough for a Z image turbo. And then uh, all this you leave as is. I like to put this to 100. I like to know what's happening with my model every 100 steps. Uh, and then you can decide how many saves you wanna keep. Here, batch size, so this is going to depend on the amount of VRAM you have. Um, I have 
32 gigs of VRAM and batch size 4 uses around uh, 24 gigs of VRAM. So uh, when training at uh, 768 and 512, I don't really train at 1024, but if you do train at 1024, it's going to take more VRAM. So take that into account. We'll leave it at one for now. Um, all of this can all of this can be left as is. You can play around with the learning rate. I like minus two, two e minus four. Uh, so I like this one. And here, so here we chose our data set. Uh, if you have multiple data sets, you are going to have multiple options here. Um, I just selected my data set here. Then we do cache the latents, and then here you can choose uh, what resolution you want to train at. So uh for this example we're already going to train at 512 to make it faster and it's already trained anyway i'm just doing this for uh you know the example but so here we have the sample prompts uh this is basically going to generate uh, a sample of the current state of the lower training every uh number of steps you specify here so I have 100 steps here. This means that every 100 steps is going to generate an image to see the progress of the LoRa. Uh, for this number of steps, we can put eight because this is what the uh, ZImage Turbo uh, requires. And you can change the prompt here. You know, that's pretty simple. There's nothing too crazy. Uh, then we create a job. Okay, so when we have the job created, we can just uh, go ahead and play and start and we go uh, to uh, the actual thing we click here we should see running one job and from there it means that uh, we are basically good to go so we just wait a little bit here oh i need to stop my i need to clear that because i'm not gonna have enough vram to do all of this at once so here we are loading the uh, model nothing too crazy we're gonna wait it's gonna see the first step start and then um basically from there you're good to go there's really nothing else for you to do and now it's going to generate the first sample images so if you go here these are the images that will uh, be used as a baseline. And from there, um, we're just gonna basically wait for all the other uh, images to be generated. And when we see that the face we are trying to train looks like, um, looks basically in our image, uh, we can basically stop the training because it means that we are fully trained. So. We are already at 20 steps here. As you can see, it's really fast. One IT per second. Um, this says one hour, but I expect that to be done in like 15 minutes, maybe. So I will just wait and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so we are at 400 steps right now. Um, it's been seven minutes. And if we go see the samples, uh this is basically the face of uh our person right if we if we compare it's basically the same face after 400 steps seven minutes so i could stop the training right now i will stop the training uh i don't need to keep going it's only a test but you know after 400 steps we're basically done with the training so this is it um if you have any questions hit me up on the discord or the patreon Make sure you sub on the Patreon. There's a lot of stuff coming up for my subscribers. And yeah, this is going to be the video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.